Hi, it's Susie with another quick exercise tip. Now this week I'm going to share with you a variation on an exercise we commonly give people in our centre. It's got a few different names. We can call it a dipping bird, other people might refer to it as a golfer's pickup or a single leg hip hinge. Now in the centres we normally get people to do it on the one leg if they can, but today's variation I'm going to show you, we're going to actually do what we call a staggered variation. So we're going to have toe tip pressure on the back leg, we're going to focus on keeping the trunk straight and reaching forward like so. The added variation that we're going to do though is going to increase the challenge on the hip muscles and also the trunk muscles. It's going to resist against rotation. We're going to introduce a rotation that's going to pull us away from our midline and towards our midline while we're doing the exercise. So it's a good idea to make sure that you've got a reasonable level of balance. You shouldn't attempt this exercise if you're not able to stand heel to toe for at least five to ten seconds. Okay. So I've got my resistance band anchored to the side and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a little bit of light tension on the band. So not too much of a stretch to begin with and I'm going to hold it in both hands. I'm going to start by training the leg that's closest to the band. So I'm going to place the other foot back just with that toe tip pressure. So I'm not putting a full body weight through that, I've just got a little bit of pressure for balance support. So from there, I'm going to lean forward, trying to keep my trunk as straight as I can, so not letting myself slouch as I come down, pushing my hip back, coming over that front hip, just to where I can and coming back up. Now when you're doing it, you're likely to feel a stretch through the leg that's working. So for me, the right leg, through that back of the leg in the hamstring area, maybe even a little bit lower down into the calf area, perhaps a little bit into your lower back. There shouldn't be any pain, that stretching is more just the tissues lengthening while they're actually controlling and loading as well. Okay, so as long as it's not painful, it's safe to continue. Don't push into a too strong a stretch. Um, and what you're going to do is after you've done about six or eight on the side that's closest to your anchor point, you're going to keep the hands in the same position, but you're going to swap your leg position. So this time I've got my left leg forward and my right leg has toe touch pressure only. And I'm doing the exact same movement as far down as I feel I can manage, keeping myself steady and also that stretch, making sure it's not too strong or too uncomfortable. And this time I'm resisting the rotation of the band that wants to pull me towards the midline of the body. So again, I'm gonna perform six to eight of those. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn around and do the exact same movements, but with the opposite direction. And that way, my right and my left hip get trained against both forms of rotation and twisting, and my trunk muscles can adapt to that as well. So I'd recommend performing two sets, one out, or resisting that outward rotation, one resisting that inward rotation on each side to start with and just see how the muscles respond to that. And then it's a good idea to go up by adding an extra set to each of those movements. So you would go straight from two sets on the right to four sets. So we would have two resisting that external rotation and two resisting that internal rotation. So I hope you've enjoyed today's tip. Stay safe, stay active, and I'll see you soon for another quick exercise tip.